TV KPM Hmm, no. No, 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 no. This one, no. Eh, wait, 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 wait. This one, no, 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 no. Oh, my. Oh, what is all this? Why are there rubbish on the floor? Oh, hi. But there's rubbish bins there. Hi, teachers. Uh, hi. Good morning. Uh -huh. Morning. Well, um, uh, I think everybody's doing that. So I guess it's not wrong. That is not okay, Nisa. Not okay. Yes. Well, okay, I think I'll be... You should clean up the mess. Okay. Maybe you should throw the rubbish in the dustbin. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm sorry, teachers. I promise I won't do it anymore. That's okay. good. Maybe we I'll can do it together. Okay. Let's clean this up. Yeah. Let's do Watching Didi TV KPM. My name is Nisa K, and I'll be your host for this one hour upper secondary slot. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are all feeling great, feeling fine and fit. And by saying that, I would like to remind you guys to always comply to the SOP and rules set by the government. If you need to go out, don't forget your face mask, wear it properly and wear a clean one. Maintain a physical distance of at least one meter or more. Wash your hands regularly using water and soap or use hand sanitizer. Okay, today, this morning, we are going to learn English together. So let's welcome our teachers for today's episode. Hi, Teacher Amira, Hi. Teacher Mar Marisa, how are you guys doing? Good. Great? Yep. How are you guys how, how are you feeling, Teacher Marisa, since you are uh, you are having the first experience in the Day TV KPM? Quite excited actually. Okay, I'm excited to have you here. And hi Teacher Mira. Hi. See you again. Hello Nisa. Hi, but before that I would like to ask uh, teachers to introduce yourself to our students who are watching us at home. We will start with Teacher Marisa. Can you introduce yourself? Hi, my name is Norliana Marisa Ismail. You can call me Teacher Marisa. And currently, I'm teaching in MRSM Sungai Besar. And I've been teaching for the past 10 years. Wow, oh, that's quite a long time. <laughs> 10 yes. years ago, maybe I am still in the university. Ah, okay. I see. I'm, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to say that I'm still young. <laughs> okay, Teacher Amira, your turn. Okay, hello everyone. My name is Amira Husna binti Marzali. You can call me Teacher Amira. I'm from SMK Datuk Mustafa and I've been teaching for six years. Okay, thank you so much, Teacher Amira and Teacher Marisa. Well, I think it is not complete if I am the only student or pupils here. So let's welcome our students from both schools, SMK Datuk Mustafa and MRSM Sungai Besar Selangor. Hi, everybody. Hi. Hi. How are you guys doing? They are all smiling. <laughs> uh, I think they are very cheerful and excited yes. as well. So let's uh, welcome them. We will start with MRSM Sungai Besar Selangor. Ifran, kindly introduce yourself. Hi, Assalamualaikum. My name is Ifran. Uh, you can call me Ifran. And I'm from MRSM Sungai Besar. Thank you, Ifran. Next, we have Ziad. Hi, Assalamualaikum. My name is Ziad Ishraf. You guys can call me Ziad. And I'm from MRSM Sungai Besar. Thank you, Ziad. Okay, uh, Afif, kindly introduce yourself. Hi, Assalamualaikum. My name is Afif Shafi. You can call me Afif. And I'm from MRSM Sungai Besar. Thank you, Afif. Next, we have friends from, from SMK Datuk Mustafa Selangor. We will start with Tasnim. Kindly introduce yourself, Tasnim. Hi, Assalamualaikum. My name is Tasnim Ashika. You can call me Tasnim. I'm from SMK Datuk Mustafa. Okay, Tasnim, thank you so much. Next, we have Anne Jasmine. Hi, Assalamualaikum and greetings to everyone. My name is Anne Jasmine. You may call me and I, and I am a student of SMK Datuk Mustafa. Thank you, Anne Jasmine. I love your name. <laughs> and next, we have last but not least, we have Khairi Nabila. Can you, can you introduce yourself? Hi, Assalamualaikum. My name is Khairi Nabila. You can call me Bella. 
I am from SMK Dato' Mustafa. Thank you, Bella. So that's uh, our pupils for today. And I am so excited to know what will be our topic for today's lesson. Teacher Amira. Okay, for today's lesson, we are going to do a letter. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to introduce uh, a letter expressing opinion. Okay. So this will be specific to writing a letter to the editor in mm -hmm. response to an article or personal review. Okay, so what are we going to achieve together today? Okay, for today we are going to aim on the speaking skill and the mm. writing skill for the students. Mm -hmm. So this lesson will comprise both skills. Okay, I'm so excited because just now, teacher, earlier, I was trying to write a letter, but it seems that to no avail, I keep throwing things around <laughs> and it is not a good thing, students, yes. to throw your rubbish around because we have the rubbish bin, so throw it in the right place. Okay, but before we start any activities or our lesson today, I would like to invite our teachers to sanitize our hands. This is not the new norm. This is the normal thing that we are doing every time before we start any activity. We will start with teacher Mira. Thank Kindly you. sanitize your hand. And next, teacher Marisa. And I have uh, a pocket-sized hand sanitizer with me here. I'm using this one to maintain the physical distance. Uh, in the studio, so you don't have to worry. I just hope our friends at home, they are all take care of yourselves. So we will start a little bit with our introduction of this topic. Tisha Mira, the floor is yours. Thank you, Nisa. All right, so for today's lesson, we are going to do a letter to the editor expressing an opinion. Mm -hmm. So this is taken from Form 4 textbook, Full Plus Plus 4, page 108 to 109. All right, so I'm going to talk about the learning standard first. So this lesson, the main skill for this lesson is writing 4.1.3, which is to explain the main ideas of an idea or an argument. And the complementary skill for speaking, sorry, the complementary skill for this lesson is speaking 2.1.4, which is to explain and justify own point of view. All right, let me talk about the learning objectives. By the end of the lesson, pupils will be able to justify the stylistic features of a letter mm -hmm. to the editor expressing an opinion. So here they are going to identify the format and features of the letter. Okay. Next, pupils will be able to produce two paragraphs of a formal letter which contains the explanation of the main points. All right, teacher mm -hmm. Mira. Before yes. that, I would like to ask our pupils at home on the Google Meet, are you guys ready? If you guys are ready, can you give me double thumbs up? Pupils at home, are you... I hope you guys are all ready too, but we are going to take a break. I'll see you guys after this in Didate TV KPM. Didate TV KPM. TV KPM KPM, we are now in the upper secondary slot. We are going to learn English together and today's topic is Mother Nature. Well, you see, earlier today, I kind of did something that is not right, which is littering. And according to the trivia, you can be fined or imprisoned and that's scary. And I don't <laughs> want to litter anymore. Okay, let's proceed with our lesson today. Teacher Amira. Thank you, Nisa. All right, so before I start with the lesson, I'm going to ask a few questions mm -hmm. to our fellow students. Students, are you ready? Are you, you ready? ready? Show me your thumbs up. Yay! Okay. Okay. All right, so for the first question, why do you think people write letters to the editors of newspapers and magazines? Mm. So why do you think people write letters to the editors of newspaper and magazine? Who wants to try? Can I have a volunteer? Okay. Irfan? All right. Hello, uh, Ifan. I think, I think people write letters to the editor to express their opinion uh, and mm -hmm. comment in certain issues. 
All oh, right. Mm. So people write letters to the editors to comment on certain issues and express their opinions. So yes. that's a good idea. Thank you, Irfan. Next, can we have another person to talk about this? Who wants to add more? Nisa, maybe you can pick someone. Oh, okay, yeah, Ziyad raised his hand. What's your answer, Ziyad? I think people write letters to the editor to express their opinion and raise awareness on a certain topic. Mm, raise mm. awareness. Okay, so people okay, write letters to the one. editors to raise awareness on certain issues or topics. So that's also a good idea. Thank you, Ziyad. Next, can we have another person to share his or her idea? Okay, Anne. Hello, Anne. I think people write letters to the editor to to express their opinions that they believe are significant to the community. Okay, so people write letters to the editors to give a stand or their opinion on certain issues okay. and to make it significant to the community. Because usually in newspaper and magazine, they are talking about the community issues. Yes. Yes. That's a good idea. Thank you, Anne. Thank you. All right, let's go to the second question. For second question, would you consider writing a letter to the editor of a newspaper? So if you consider writing a letter to the, news, to the editor of a newspaper, why? Give mm -hmm. your reason. But if you do not consider writing a letter to the editor, why not? Ah, who wants mm -hmm. to share their opinion? Okay, Afif. Hello, Afif. Hi. Um, I would be considering to do so because I can share my ideas and opinion uh, regarding the article by either condemning or giving suggestions. All right. Okay. Thank you, Afi. Thank so you, you want okay. to be expressive. So you consider writing a letter to the editor to share your idea and mm. maybe to express your opinion on certain issues. So that is a very good idea. Thank you, Afif. Next, can I have another person? Who wants to share next? Okay. Tasnim. Tasnim. All right, Tasnim. What do you think? Do you have the same idea with Afif or do you have another opposing idea? Mm -hmm. No. I don't think I will write a letter to the editor of an of a newspaper because mm -hmm. I'm an introvert and I'm too shy to share my opinion. Oh, I see. Okay. So this is new. So you would not consider writing a letter to the editor of a newspaper because mm -hmm. you are introvert. So that is a respected opinion okay. to each its yes, own. So we need to agree with that too. Okay. Thank you, Tasnim. Next, uh, can I have another person? Bella, do you have anything to share or yes. to add? Yes, hello, Bella. Hello. Uh, I think yes because I want people to know my opinions about social issues and problems. All right, so you would mm. consider writing a letter to the editor of a newspaper because mm -hmm. you want people to know about your opinion and maybe your idea about certain issues related to community. That's a good idea. Okay, so let's ask our fellow teacher. Okay. All right, so, teacher Marisa, what do you think? Well, I think if it's me, mm -hmm. I wouldn't really write a letter Okay. because I would like to keep my opinion private. Ah. What about you, Nisa? Well, I think I'll write to the editor of a newspaper or a magazine because if the issue is something that is very close or related to me or to the to the place that I live in, I think I'll write a letter to the to the editor to get your voice heard. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Sometimes we need to we need our voice to be heard by mm -hmm. others. But for my case, uh, I haven't written a letter to the editor yet. But maybe when there is an issue related to education and students. Maybe we should do that. Okay. Yeah, we should. <laughs> we should try. All right, so let's proceed with the next slide. OK, so here I have an excerpt from a newspaper article. So I'm going to have one student to help me to read it out loud. Can I have someone, please? Who wants to volunteer? OK, Afif. All right, Afif. Yesterday, the mayor of Mayfield announced plans to build a modern shopping center in Clifton Park. He says, it will serve the needs of residents and also attract shoppers from neighboring from neighboring towns. Many people are not happy with this decision. Mm -hmm. One resident, Mark Wilson, told us, we don't need a shopping center. So many trees will cut down if May goes ahead with his plans. Clifton Park gives us the oxygen we breathe and it's where our children go to play. We need to save it at all costs. All right. Thank, Thank you, you, Afif. Afif. Thank you. Okay, Afif. May I ask a few questions? Yes. All right. Okay, Afif, who is the person mentioned in the article? It is Mark Wilson. Okay, so you can see from here, this is Mark Wilson. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what is the issue raised by Mark Wilson here? Um, the issue raised is about his disapproval towards the mayor's plans to build a shopping centre in Flipton Park. 
So he disapproved of the mayor's plans to build a modern shopping centre in Clifton Park. So that's the issue. All right. Thank you, Afif. So let's proceed with the next slide. So here I have the letter to the editor. All right, for this one, can I have a volunteer to read the first paragraph for me? Wants to read this one. Okay, Anne. Dear sir or madam, I am a concerned resident and I am writing in response to your article about the maze plans to build a modern shopping center in Clifton Park. All right, well done. Thank you, Anne. Next, can I have another person, Isa? To read the next paragraph. Who wants to read? Okay, Ziad. First of all, I must agree with the mayor that a shopping centre would be very convenient for everybody. In addition to creating more job opportunities, it would also offer us more options for entertainment. Who would say no to a cinema complex or a food court with different cuisines, for instance? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a good idea. Thank you, Ziad. Next, can I have another person to read the third paragraph? Okay, fun. You next. On the other hand, it is outrageous to even think of destroying Clifton Park. I am very disappointed that the menu shows such a lack of sensitivity for environmental issues. Air pollution is a growing problem in Mayfield, and as Mr. Wilson points out, Clifton Park must be safe at all costs. Surely, a more suitable location can be found for the shopping centre, for example, the abandoned warehouses behind the train station. All right, thank you, Irfan. Thank you, Irfan. Next, for the last paragraph, can I have our beautiful girl? So, Tasneem or Bella? Who wants to read the last paragraph? All right, okay, Tasneem. In conclusion, we do not need to destroy Clif Clifton Park in order to build the new shopping centre. If we consider the alternative solutions more carefully, we can find that one is we can find one that is acceptable to everyone in Mayfield. You're safely follow with house. Thank All right. you, students. Thank you, Tasneem. So let's do together to analyze the letter mm -hmm. first. All right. So I will ask a few questions to all of you. Okay. Who is the writer of the letter? Who wants to answer this one? Okay, Anne. Uh, Anne. Who is the writer of the letter? That will be Paula Woodhouse, teacher. Okay, okay, so you already know from here the signature and the sign of Paula Woodhouse. Mm -hmm. So she is the writer of the letter. So what is the issue raised by Paula here? Mm. Why did she write the letter? What is the aim of writing the letter here? Who wants to share his or her answer? Okay, Ziad. She writes the letter because of the lack of sensitivity lack of sensitivity for environmental issues. Mm -hmm. Okay, so she's writing the letter because uh, there is a lack of sensitivity on environmental issues. She might be an environmentalist because mm -hmm. she is opposing to the mayor's plans to build a modern shopping centre in Clifton Park. Mm -hmm. Alright, mm -hmm. so what do, you f what do you think about her feeling? How does she feel about building a modern shopping centre? Can someone share your idea? Okay, fun. What do you think? I think the writer may feel very disappointed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Disappointed. Okay, eh? disappointed. so she's feeling disappointed and outrageous. She's mm -hmm. a little bit angry and a little bit disappointed. Okay, thank you, Afif. Next, can I ask you, is there any suggestion made by the writer in the letter? Mm. Who wants to share? What are the suggestions? There is a problem, so there must be a suggestion mm -hmm. to encounter the problem. So is there any suggestion mentioned in the letter? Who wants to try? Okay, Afif. If you look at the third paragraph, Paula states that um, we can build the shopping centre at the more suitable location mm -hmm. that can be found for the shopping centre. For example, the abandoned warehouses behind the train station. Okay, All right, so Paula Afi. suggested mm -hmm. that a suitable location to be found for the shopping centre. For example, the abandoned warehouses behind the train station instead of at the Clifton Park. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you, Afif. All right, so last but not least, you can see from here that this is a completed letter. Mm -hmm. Okay, and we already understand the letter. So let's proceed to the next task. All right, for this task, I'm, I'm going to need you to identify all these features from the letter. So you're going to read the following sentences and then tick the ones that apply to the letter shown. So if, if it is applicable or present in the letter, mm -hmm. we are going to put a star over there. Okay. okay so mm -hmm. let's start with the first question. 
Okay, for the first question, do the writer uses an appropriate greeting and signature ending? Mm. Star or no star? Uh, can we Let's try ask Ziad. Ziad. Ziad, do you agree? The writer uses an appropriate greeting and signature uh, ending. Do you agree with this? Use an appropriate greeting and signature ending. Mm -hmm. How do you know that? Can you identify from the letter where is the uh, greetings and ending? At the beginning of the letter, uh, the writer used dear sir or madam, okay. and she ended the letter with yours faithfully, a signature, Paula Woodhouse. Okay. okay. Teacher Marissa, can you please identify the greeting? Yeah, sure. So this would be it. Okay. So and that's the greeting, and then that's the ending. Yeah. So it, both are present here. So let's see. Do we put a star? Ziad, do we put a star or here? No star? Should we? Yes, I agree. We should put a star. Okay. okay. So put a star here. Well done, Ziad. Thank you. Congrats. For question two, the writer explains why mm -hmm. she is writing in the first paragraph. Can we have task name? Task name. What do you think about the second uh, question? Do you agree yes. with this? She do. Yes, she do explain why she's writing in the first paragraph. Okay, okay. let's check the letter. She explained why she is writing in the first paragraph. Means that she put an aim or she mentioned the purpose of writing the letter. Where is it? So it should be somewhere here. Yes. Uh -huh. Can in you the first line, I am, in the first line, I am writing in response to your article. Okay, mm -hmm. so I am writing in response to your article here. Mm -hmm. So this is actually the aim of writing the letter. So let's see. Do we put a star? Tasnim, do we put a star here? Star or yes. no star? Yes. 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 We yes. Well done. Mm -hmm. Thank well you, Tasnim. Next. For mm. question three, the writer uses root language. Ooh. Mm. All right. So for this one, can I ask Afif? Afif, do you agree that the writer uses root language? No. Mm -hmm. No. So let's check. All the languages are proper and she uses only decent languages. Mm -hmm. So do we agree with this? We put a star no. or no star? No, so no, no star. star. No Thank star. you, Afif. Thank you. Okay, next, for question four. The writer justifies her opinion and gives example. Is it true? Mm -hmm. Can it we true? have Irfan? Irfan, what do you think about this statement? Yes, uh, I think it is true. Mm -hmm. Okay, can you please identify her opinion and examples from the letter? Uh, because in paragraph three, mm -hmm. you can see the writer justifies the opinion to found a more suitable location. Okay. And the writer also gives uh, some suggestions yeah. or examples, such as the abandoned warehouses behind the train station. Okay, okay. thank so you, Irfan. She gives suggestion and also example. Mm -hmm. So, Irfan, do we put a star here? Yes, of course. Yes, yes. of course. Well done. I like the confidence. Thank you, Irfan. Mm -hmm. Next, for question five, the writer uses rhetorical questions. For example, mm -hmm. can we have Bella for this one? Do you agree with this statement, Bella? Yes, Bella? That the writer uses rhetorical questions for emphasis. Do you agree with this? Yes. All right, can you please identify? Uh, we can look at paragraph two. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Paragraph two, the last sentence. Okay, the second last line and the last line. Who would say no to a cinema complex or a food court with different cuisines, for instance? Mm -hmm. So rhetorical question is actually question posed to create a sensational issue or maybe mm -hmm. to just give a gimmick or highlight certain issue okay. without intending mm -hmm. to get a real answer. So that is the rhetorical okay. questions. Okay, right. so we agree with this. Let's so put a star. Going to put star. Thank you, Bella. Well Yay. done. <laughs> now let's go to question number six. Mm -hmm. The writer refers to specific points made in the newspaper article. It means mm -hmm. that the writer referred to the previous article before writing her letter. Is okay. it true? Can I have Anne? Mm. What do we think about this, Anne? Yes, teacher. Um, it is stated in paragraph two that she's agreed with the mayor that a shopping center would be a very convenient for everybody. Okay, so you can see from the first line on the second paragraph, I must agree with the mayor. Mm -hmm. So she's referring back to the points from the article. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's put a star here. Well done, Anne. Thank you. Thank you, Anne. Next, for question seven, the writer expresses her opinion in an aggressive manner. Oh. 
Let's proceed with our next uh, statement, number 8. Alright, let's continue with question mm -hmm. 8. Alright, for question 8, the writer makes suggestions. Mm. So, can I ask someone from the students? Okay, who wants to volunteer? Do you agree or do you disagree? Okay, Ziyad. we have Ziyad. Ziyad. What do you think? Okay, Ziyad, did the writer make suggestions? Mm -hmm. Yes, I agree because in the third paragraph, we can see that the writer suggests to build the shopping centre at the abandoned warehouses behind the train station. Okay, okay so there is a suggestion to build the shopping centre at the abandoned warehouses behind the train station. Mm -hmm. So we agree with this. Do we put a star? Uh, yes, we should put the star there. Okay, okay. so one star here. Thank, Thank you, you very Ziyad. much. Alright, next. For question 9, the writer uses linking words or phrases. Hmm, who wants to volunteer to answer this one and what are the linkers of All phrases? Right, fun. Okay, Ifan. So is there any uh, linkers? Yes. Uh, I think uh, there is a linkage with because uh, if you see in paragraph 2, uh, 3 and 4, mm -hmm. we mm -hmm. can see the writers use the word first of all okay. on the other hand and in conclusion to link from one paragraph to another paragraph. Okay, oh, so wow. the writer use linking words or phrases to connect from one paragraph to another. So let's put a star here. Well done. Thank you, Irfan. Thank you. Next, for the last question. The writer writes in a formal style. What do you think about that, Anne? Do you agree with this? Yes, the letter was written in a clearly formal style. Mm -hmm. Okay, so as you can see from the letter, it's written in a formal tone. So the letter is formal. So, so we put, we a, put star a star here. Yes. yes. Well done. Thank you, Well Anne. done, pupils of SMK, Datuk Mustafa and MRSM Sungai Besar. But, Teacher Mira, what is the whole format of a formal letter? Okay, so that format coming right up. All right, so mm -hmm. for the next slides, we are going to present the whole format of writing a letter. Okay. All right, so this is a letter to express an opinion. So from the first, on the top of that, from the first paragraph, you can see there is a greeting. Okay. So, you can identify the greeting by using Dear Sir or Madam or maybe Dear Editor. Mm -hmm. Next, you have opening paragraph. So, usually in the opening paragraph, we are going to introduce ourselves as the writer and then we are going to mention our purpose or aim of writing the letter. Okay. Next, for the second and third paragraph, here comes the main part of the letter. So in the main part of the letter, we usually will identify the causes or maybe problems or the issues mentioned. Mm -hmm. And then we provide solution or suggestion. Okay. Okay. When there's a problem, there's always a suggestion or solution. Okay. Next, for the closing paragraph, we are going to conclude or summarize our points mm -hmm. and then we end the letter politely. Okay. So that is a proper way to end the letter. And last but not least, we have the signing off down there. Mm -hmm. So we put a sign off and then our signature and then the print of our full name. Okay, thank you so much, teacher Amir. I hope uh, pupils at home, you guys are all doing the activities just now together. And we will be back after this. Let's take five. I'll see you guys after this in Didik TV, KPM. KPM Dede TV KPM Welcome back, pupils, to Didik TV KPM. We are now in the slot of upper secondary for English subject and our topics related to Mother Nature. We will proceed our next slot with a teacher Marisa from MRSM Sungai Besar. Over to you, teacher Marisa. Thank you, Nisa. Assalamualaikum. Hi, everyone. So now we are in our second half of mm -hmm. the lesson mm -hmm. in which we're going to do learning objective number two. Okay. Okay, towards the end. The students will produce two paragraphs of a formal letter. Mm -hmm. okay, and in the paragraphs, 
you would have the main ideas and also explanation. Okay, Nisa, perhaps you can ask one of the students to read this for us. Okay, I want to hear from Afif. Can you help us by reading the article or the paragraph? Okay. According to a survey that was carried out among residents of our city last month, litter is the number one problem our city faces. It is a fact that streets are overflowing with rubbish mm -hmm. and it is even impossible to enjoy our parks and beaches because of the problem. At a protest demonstration held outside the city hall yesterday, one angry protester asked our reporter, whose responsibility is it to keep the city clean? Isn't it time the mayor did something about it? Mm -hmm. That is a good question. But aren't we all responsible for keeping our cities clean? Okay, okay. thank you so much, Afif. Okay, Afif, what is the main idea of the article? Um, it is about the littering issue mm -hmm. in the city. Yes, correct. It is about the littering issue. So, the residents of the city are facing the problem of litter. Mm -hmm. So, now people, next what we have to do is we have to write a letter to the editor to express our views on the issue of litter. Mm -hmm. But however, before we write, let us plan. Okay. So first, we started off with the problem of litter. Mm -hmm. So when we want to um, generate ideas, one of the things we could look at would be at the sources of litter. Mm -hmm. we, can answer, we can ask the question, why do you think there is so much litter around? And the first one, it could be that it comes from irresponsible individuals and bad habits. Mm -hmm. you know, just when like just, what I did earlier. Um, yes. Yeah, sorry bad, to say. Bad habit bad. of mine. <laughs> <laughs> we shouldn't do that. Mm -hmm. Okay. So for the next one, maybe we can get Irfan to share his idea. Uh, yes, of course. Yeah. Uh, I think the source of litter because I can't see enough rubbish bin around the city. Ah, mm -hmm. we don't have enough rubbish bin. Yes, that okay. could be that there's not enough, so mm -hmm. people just throw anywhere. Okay. Okay. For the next one, can we get Tasnim? Mm, Tasnim, what do you think? The sources of litter. There might not be enough dustbin to collect the rubbish in the area. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. There might not be enough dustmen. Dustmen mm -hmm. are people and workers who collect the rubbish around the mm -hmm. area. I have to agree with that too. Yeah, sometimes yeah. we don't have enough sources. Yep, true. Okay, so for the next one, maybe we can consider the consequences. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we can ask the question, what kind of problems does it create? And the first one, we have a threat to health. You know, when there's rubbish and litter around, mm -hmm. there would be germs and viruses, and yes. it's very dangerous, especially now. Mm -hmm. yes, right? Especially during this pandemic now. Yes. yes. Okay, and we're also not able to enjoy parks and beaches. I agree with that, Teacher Marisa. Whenever I go to the park or to the beaches, it is very disappointing, you know, yes. to see the place that uh, should be a, an attraction for everybody. Mm -hmm. It turns out into a, dust, uh, a rubbish land. Yeah. Which is not good. Mm -hmm. Such a turn off. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, for the next point, can we get N to share? N, what do you think? One of the consequences of the littering problems? I think the area will have an awful stench. Mm. Mm, correct. An awful stench. Awful stench. Okay, and for the next one, maybe we can get Ziad. Ziad. Uh, it will be a bad and ugly sight of the city. Mm, yes, side. correct. It would be unpleasant for us to look at it. Yes. Whereas when we want to relax, mm -hmm. we would have a scenic view mm -hmm. to enjoy. Okay? So for the next one, when we have problems, we could suggest solutions. Okay. True. Yep. So what do you think can be done about it? The first we have over here would be having strict fines. Strict fines. And this is up the law enforcement. Mm -hmm. Okay, for the next point, can I get Afif? What do you think, Afif? We can hold more campaigns. More okay, correct. campaigns? Yeah, more campaigns. So we can educate the community. Mm -hmm. And for the final one, can I get Bella, please? Bella? We can add rubbish bins. Mm, add more rubbish yes. bins. Yes. We can add more rubbish bins okay. since this we This is practical. Have it now. <laughs> <laughs> Very practical. Okay, so now just a wrap up of our brainstorming session. Mm -hmm. First off, we have the problem of litter. Mm -hmm. Then we came up with three main ideas, which are the sources of litter, okay. 
and then the consequences mm -hmm. and finally the solutions. solutions. Yes. Yeah, and we you guys have provided excellent explanation for that. So good job, people. Good job. Double um, thumbs up, everybody. Yay. Yay. Okay. okay, finally we get to our write-up. Okay. Okay, so this is actually um, on page 109, mm -hmm. Activity E, where you have a, to write a letter to the editor of the newspaper and we have to express our views on the issue described in the article. Okay. And we need to use some of the ideas from our brainstorming session. Mm -hmm. Okay, So over here, there's the plan, but I'm not going to go to it because Miss Amira did so before mm -hmm. this. So perhaps we're going to focus more towards the tip. Okay. Okay. So when we write a letter to express our opinion, there are several tips that we can follow. Mm -hmm. The first, use appropriate layout and style, like what Ms. Amira has shown us, yes. formal. And we should group related ideas together in paragraphs. Okay. And we can refer to specific points made in the newspaper article. And we can state our opinion clearly. Mm -hmm. When stating opinions, there are certain words and phrases that we can use. Perhaps okay. you can share, Miss Amira. Okay. Uh, while stating opinions, I would prefer to use in my opinion, mm -hmm. it is my view, in my perspective. I think that. Yes. yes. I strongly think. Mm -hmm. Something like that. Okay. And we can use this both verbally mm -hmm. and in writing as well. Yes, oh, true. Okay. Okay. And then we can use the rhetorical questions for emphasis, mm -hmm. just like what you explained as well. We should not be aggressive or rude, mm -hmm. and we should also use linking words and phrases. I think Irfan explained just now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Words such as, first of all, on the other hand, in conclusion. Then, yes, in conclusion. Good one, Nisa. Mm -hmm. Okay. So students at home, I hope you are jotting this down, all the tips given by teacher Marisa, because we are going to do activities next. <laughs> Okay, so over here, mm -hmm. what we have would be a half-done letter. Okay. As you could see, the main part one and the main part two have been blanked, and it's our students' job to fill it out after this. Mm -hmm. But before we do that, um, Nisa, can you get somebody to read this? Okay, I would like to hear from Anne. Can you read the greeting and opening paragraph part? Yep. Sure. Um, dear Sir or Madam, I am a concerned resident and I am writing in response to an article in your newspaper. Mm -hmm. It is a fact that litter is the number one problem our city faces and I find this worrying. Okay, thank you Anne. Okay, thank you Anne. As you could see in the mm -hmm. opening paragraph, the writer has mentioned the reason for her to write, which is okay. she's a concerned resident. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And she finds it worrying that okay. this problem is happening. Mm -hmm. Okay, so can I get another person then okay. to read? Okay, let's have um, Bella. Can you read the closing paragraph and signing off part? In conclusion, mm -hmm. I believe this problem will be solved soon if everyone plays their part. If we consider the solution carefully, we can find one that works, works well and this will lead to a clear city. Clear city. Right. Sorry. Mm -hmm. It's okay, no it's problem. Okay. okay, so for the closing paragraph, mm -hmm. we have the writer telling us her hopes mm -hmm. somehow that it will lead to a cleaner city in mm -hmm. the end. Okay, this one. Okay. Okay, and don't forget to sign off. Yours faithfully, Anna. And you can write your full name. Okay. Okay, now students, now it's the time for you to do your task. Oh, okay? this is so exciting. Yes, yes. I'm excited as well. As well. I hope you guys are doing this too, together. Okay, what we need to do is, we mm -hmm. need to produce two paragraphs. Okay. So the first paragraph is actually the main part one. Mm -hmm. The second paragraph would be the main part two. And we are going to do a collaborative writing. Meaning, each of you will get one idea. Mm -hmm. And from the idea, I need you to develop explanation. Oh. Okay, and afterwards, mm -hmm. we're all going to come together. Mm -hmm. And we're going to make it into two paragraphs for these main parts. Okay, mm -hmm. everybody clear on that? Put yeah. hands up. Put your thumbs Mugaza up. Clear. Double I thumbs love up. collaborative writing. We can see different ideas. Yes, okay. definitely. But I'm a little bit worried about collaborative writing, uh, Teacher Marisa, Teacher Mira, yes. because I always think that 
my ideas or the way I write might not uh, cannot be linked with what others write. What <laughs> do you think about that? Okay, normally if we do have that, mm -hmm. the teacher will then intervene mm -hmm. and then we would uh, give suggestions on how mm. to link those ideas together. Yes. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Well, I'm a little bit worried, but I believe our friends uh, will write them wonderfully and we will be uh, take, a look, uh, take, take a look, a closer look at their answer after this. So let's take a break, students at home. Let's do this together and we'll see the answers after this. I'll see you guys in Didik TV KPM. Didik TV KPM TV KPM watching Didi TV KPM just now we left you guys with a half completed letter yes. where we left the main part one and main part two for the students to write so this is a collaborative writings yes. and students at home I hope you guys have written your answer or your paragraph so let's take a look together the answer or our friends part okay so what we will who we will be starting off first uh, teacher Marisa. Okay, first we have the work of Irfan. So, mm -hmm. Irfan, if you could just read what you have written. Okay, Irfan. First of all, mm -hmm. what would be the possible reasons for this problem? I strongly think irresponsible people is the main reason for the problem of litter. They act irresponsibly and litter mm -hmm. without even thinking about it. And it has become a bad habit. Mm, okay, okay, thank you, Irfan, for thank that. You, Irfan. Uh, which one is your idea, Irfan? Uh, my main idea is uh, irresponsible people is the main reason for the problem of litter. Okay. People. Which one is your explanation then? Uh, my explanation when the irresponsible, irresponsible people mm -hmm. uh, litter without even thinking about it and make it as a bad habit. Okay. Yes. Okay. Um, did you use any linkers, Irfan? Uh, yes, of course. Yeah. Uh, in the opening of the paragraph, I use first of all. Okay. Okay, first of all, what about, did you use any words to indicate your opinion? Mm -hmm. Yes, I indicate my opinion by using the word, I strongly think. Yes, all I strongly right. think. So yes, it's very advisable that mm -hmm. we use the word, I strongly think, especially in the first paragraph, mm -hmm. because that's the point that you really feel strongly about. Mm -hmm. So you want to highlight that part first. So good job, Irfan. Good job. Well done. Well, well done. done, Irfan. Next, we have, we have let's see. Anne's part. Okay, Anne, yeah. can you please read your what have you write about the letter? Next, it is obvious that there aren't enough rubbish bins available, mm -hmm. and this makes things worse. It makes people careless in how they get rid of their rubbish. Okay. okay. Thank you, Anne. So, which one is your point, Anne? Which My one? point uh -huh. is there aren't enough rubbish bins. Mm -hmm. Okay. The there aren't enough, there enough rubbish bins. Okay. Okay, and then your explanation for that? That will be, it makes people careless in how they get rid of their rubbish. Okay, good one. So, did you use any linkers, Anne? I'm using next teacher. Okay, okay next. And that's Thank a good Anne. one because mm -hmm. that uh, shows the progression from the mm -hmm. first point to the next point. Okay. And did you use any words to indicate your opinion, Anne? I'm using it is obvious. It is obvious. Okay, so it, it is, is obvious. obvious. Okay, we can use it is obvious mm -hmm. when we want to say that something is clear cut. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we can use it is obvious. Good job, Anne. 
Thank you, Anne. Thank you, Anne. Well done. Well done. Well done. Okay, okay. for the next one, next we have we will Bella. see Bella's part. Mm -hmm. Bella? The problem of litter causes harmful consequences. Mm -hmm. The most important is the trait of our health. The leftovers and decomposing item in bed flies which bring diseases. Okay. okay, so which one's your point, Bella? Treat of our health. Okay, the threat of our health. So okay. that is the point. That's the point. What okay. about your explanation? Which mm -hmm. part? The leftovers and decomposing item in bed flies which bring diseases. Mm -hmm. Okay, good one. Did you use any words to indicate your opinion? Yes, I use the most important. Okay, yes, the, so most the most important. important. Okay, so we can use the most important mm -hmm. when we feel that the particular point is something that should be highlighted. And mm -hmm. I think this is valid because it's our health. Yes. It's the, co uh, the condition that we live by. So the most vital one. Yeah. Yes, the most vital one. Okay, thank you, Bella. Thank That's you, good Bella. One. Good job. Good job. Well done. Okay, next. Ziyad, your turn. Quite frankly, we are also not able to enjoy our parks and beaches. Mm -hmm. Would you enjoy the sound of flies buzzing and the stench of rubbish when you want to relax? Okay, okay thank you, Ziad. Okay, Ziad, um, your point would be? My point is we are also not able to enjoy our parks and beaches. Okay, okay. not able to enjoy parks and beaches. Your explanation? How can we relax if there are sound of flies buzzing and the stench of rubbish? Okay. Yes, we can't relax. Yes. Okay, Ziad, did you use any words to indicate your opinion? Yes, I did. I used the word quite frankly. Quite frankly? Quite okay. frankly. Yeah. Quite frankly. So this is something new as well. Mm -hmm. We can say quite frankly because we are um, we are being really honest. Mm -hmm. So we're saying, okay, quite frankly, this is it. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then um, Ziad also used a rhetorical question mm -hmm. over here. Okay, the question, it's not something that we don't know the answer to. Yes. We know it, mm -hmm. but we just want to emphasize on the severity of the condition, mm -hmm. the seriousness of this condition. Okay. okay good job, Ziad. Good job, Ziad. Well done. Well, well done. done. Okay, next. next. We'll, let's take a look at Tasnim's, Tasnim's. part. Tasnim. There are various solutions to this problem. Mm -hmm. The government should impose strict fines on those who litter. Eventually, people will be more aware of the necessity to keep our city clean. Okay, mm. thank you, Tasnim. Okay, Tasnim, which one's your idea, Tasnim? My idea is the government should impose strict fines on those who litter. Strict fines, okay. okay. What about your explanation for this? People will be more aware of the necessity to keep our city clean. Okay. okay. Mm. This is Eventually, elaboration. People yeah. will stop litter because they don't want to keep paying for the fines. Yes. yes. <laughs> okay. Um. So, Tasnim, mm -hmm. which word do you use to indicate your opinion? The word I use is should and eventually. Mm. Should okay. The word should eventually. eventually. Okay. We use the word should when mm -hmm. we want to give suggestions. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's a very good one. And eventually, it shows the progression. Mm -hmm. From one thing which you think will lead to another. So that's what you thought. Okay, thank you, Tasneem. Thank you, Tasneem. Well done. Well done. Well done. Okay. Next so one, Afif. Afif. Next. The amount of rubbish bins should also be increased. Mm -hmm. People will be less likely to litter anywhere they want. Furthermore, environmental awareness campaigns should be held and people of the city could be called to clean the place up together. Okay, thank okay. you, Afif. Which one's your point, Afif? Mm -hmm. The amount of rubbish bins should also be increased. Okay. And environmental awareness campaigns should be held and people of the city could be called to clean the place up together. So you have yeah. two points over there. Mm -hmm. yeah. And which one's uh, to explain, Afif? Your explanation. People will be less likely to litter anywhere they want. Okay. Okay, okay good. So less likely to litter. Okay, what about linkers? Did you use any linkers, Afif? Yes. I use next and furthermore. Next and okay, furthermore. Next and furthermore. What about uh, language to give opinion? What mm -hmm. words did you use? The word should. 
shirt. Oh, shirt. Okay. okay. And there's okay, one more this, over there. This is the thing that we should done. We should do together. Yes. yes. Okay, so if we look here, mm -hmm. the linkers that are fifth used would be next and furthermore. Mm -hmm. Next would show the indication of the next suggestion. Okay. And furthermore would be in addition to this, mm -hmm. we should also add this one. Mm -hmm. And then should, again, it's the same with what your friend has told us before. Okay. It's to indicate suggestions. Mm -hmm. Okay, good job. Well done, people. Well so done, finally, good everybody. Job, everyone. Yay. So we have everyone's part. Mm -hmm. And finally, mm -hmm. we have the full letter here. Okay, okay so we're going to go by it again. Mm -hmm. Okay, first we have dear sir or madam, and that's the greeting. Um, can we put anything else, Miss Amira, over here for dear sir okay, or madam? Okay, I would suggest that maybe if this is a letter to the editor, maybe we can use dear editor. Dear yes. editor. Dear okay. editor. Okay. okay. And then this is the introduction where the writer indicated the reason she's mm -hmm. writing. It's worrying. Then this is the part of main, uh, main part one. Mm -hmm. And this is the student's work. And we've compiled it together. Okay. Okay. So we... Uh, focused on the reasons for the problem mm -hmm. and we also focus on the consequences mm -hmm. okay these two are related so that's why it is okay for it to be in one paragraph mm -hmm. it's the same idea okay and the next one this would be main part two where this is the students work as well mm -hmm. and they provided solutions to the problem okay and finally we have the conclusion, what the writer hopes to achieve, which would be a cleaner city. Mm -hmm. okay, and don't forget, it's a letter, so we must sign off. Okay. We must put the word yours faithfully, you sign, and then your full name. Mm -hmm. On the bottom left corner. Yes. yes. Good. Teacher bottom Marisa, left. Teacher Amira, can we use um, other sign of like just yours or yours truly? Can we use that? Yes, we can use the formal one, the mm -hmm. formal sign off. For example, your sincerely, mm -hmm. uh, yours truly, mm -hmm. uh, something like that. Okay. So, how is everybody doing? Are you guys okay? Now we have a full, complete letter to the editor. Double thumbs up. Students at home, double thumbs up as well. I think I can see you guys. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, thank you so much, Teacher Marisa and Teacher Amira. We went through the letter, the format, and the tips on how mm -hmm. to write. The letter, and now we have a complete letter that we can send to the editor of the magazine or the newspaper related to the article that we read previously. Okay, now it's the time for me to ask uh, mm -hmm. Teacher Marisa or Teacher Amira to conclude our lesson for today. Okay, so this is what we have learned today, mm -hmm. but I think it would be better if the students yes. would give their response. What have they learned for today? Let's ask okay. from them. Yeah, who wants to share what have you learned today? Okay, Anne. Anne. We'll start with Anne. Hello, Anne. So, Hi. Anne, what have you learned from the lesson today? I learned about rhetorical questions and mm -hmm. how to write a formal letter. Oh, that's okay. good. The rhetorical Thank questions, you. something new, and mm -hmm. then the format of writing letter. Thank you, Anne. All right. So, next students, who wants to? Okay, Ziad. Ziad. Hello, Ziad. What do you want to add? Um, today, I learned how to write a letter. Mm -hmm. and how to point out or point to put in the essay. Okay. Mm. So writing a letter and elaborate points mm -hmm. to be put in your essay, that's really good. Thank you, okay. Ziad. Can we have the next person? Anyone wants to? Okay, Ifan. Ifan. Today, I learned to elaborate my points mm -hmm. and uh, organize my ideas using the mind mapping method. Oh, okay. Yeah. Elaborating points mm -hmm. and organizing points using the mind map or I think map. Yes. yes. That's really mind good. Thank method. you, Irfan. Thank you, Irfan. Can we have Afif to share what have you learned today? Um, I've learned about the importance of keeping our environment clean. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so okay. you learn to be concerned mm -hmm. or take care more of your environmental issues that's a good idea thank you thank you Afif. Okay. can we hear from bella yes the ladies uh, what i okay. learned how to write a letter and okay. also learn about nature and environmental problems okay, okay. Wow. thank you yes, writing the problems. letter and the issues of environments mm. okay that's a good idea thank you bella okay last but not least can we hear from tasnim 
I learned how to use rhetorical questions and awareness for the environment. Okay. Thank you so much, students from SMK Datuk Mustafa and MRSM Sungai Besar Selangor. We would like to hear from the teachers as well, the conclusion or what can we conclude uh, to end our lesson for today. Okay, uh, for the first part, I think I hope that mm -hmm. this lesson is in, will instill a little bit value of environmental yes. mm -hmm. towards ourselves and then we need to take care of our environment mm -hmm. and just don't throw rubbish anywhere. Okay. <laughs> There's always a proper way to do it and mm -hmm. we need to inculcate a positive habits into protecting and saving the environment. Okay. What about Can you, Marisa? Marisa? Okay, since Miss Amira has talked about the environmental issue, mm -hmm. so I'll talk about the English issue. Okay. <laughs> okay, so when we write our letter, it's mm -hmm. important for us to brainstorm first. Think of what we want to say. Mm -hmm. And after that, we should, um, we should think of the elaborations needed. And after that, finally, we can get writing while minding the tips and the format that you need to use. Mm. Okay, so thank, thank you so it. much, Teacher Marisa. Thank you so much, yeah. Teacher Amira from SMK Datuk Mustafa and MRSM Sungai Besar Selangor. Thank you so much, pupils on Google Meet. For those who are watching us from home, you can get the exercises materials from the Sumberku portal and re-watch this episode on Didik TV KPM's YouTube channel. Thank you so much everybody. Thank you so much. I'll see you guys in the next episodes of Upper Secondary or Menengah Atas slot in Didik TV KPM. Thank you so much. Assalamualaikum. Bye.